Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's That Indy. Obviously, Space Crew, being strategic, tactical survival indie games to your face holes. Today's first impression, I apologise, I'm moving my mic. Oh god, I've gone deaf. Is Space Crew, which is. Do you know, remember Bomber Crew? It was a rogue light where you controlled a bomber and bombed, like, you know, during World War II. Space Crew, similar, but space. You control a crew, you have to move them around, actually fight fires, fight aliens, fight spaceships. And obviously I've not really played it, as in I booted it up, this is me playing it for the first time. So this is the uh, Steam Summer Sale Festival game. So obviously this is a pre-built ship, It'll be pre-built missions, obviously you don't get to pick your own missions at the point. Let's actually have a look. So we have three, you know, four guns on the ship. It looks like we're allowed six crew. I think in the original bomber you're allowed five crew. Okay. Select your captain by clicking directly on the console. As you can see, each person is controlling a different thing. Locked for training. Oh, how can you control the captain? And you have different abilities and so on. Obviously, it's space. So it's a little bit more deathy. So deselect by right clicking. Good. Zoom in. Whoa! Look at that! There's actually an entire station. Look how small we are. Well, we're bigger than those fighters. So you can zoom around, have a look around. As you can see, the world is there. This is interesting. So originally you were a British fighter crew. You could obviously have a American fighter crew in bomber crew. Okay, to toggle tagging mode. Look at that! So this was originally used in Bomber Crew to tag things. As you can see here, do that, you tag them. When you tag away, for example, your captain will pilot the ship towards it. So you can hunt down things. It's also used to pick out enemy ships. Depending on the type of waypoint, your ship will orbit or align with it. So, so they will either go round it or head straight towards it, depending on the type. Now, each of your actual crew will have different skills and abilities. Obviously, gunners are better at shooting and get gunnery skills. Pilots are better at piloting, stuff like that. First tab to fast forward, yes. We're only one click away from the moon? That can't be right. Oh, it said it was a uh, gate, didn't it? Yes. I was like, because there's the moon over there. Press tab again, direct to fast forward mode. Okay. So you capped here by clicking on that. So now we have access. We can now charge the hyper jump. And obviously we use that and then we jump to the next place. Okay, it's actually a gate. And that's how we move from place to place. Earth the moon. Are there any mini guns we have for turrets? Looks like we've got some invited guests or scanners are picking up incoming phasmids. We're uncertain how many there are, so make sure all your weapons are stations are manned. Is it going to tell me to do that? So my engineer is going to go man that one. And left click. So as you can see, it's going to go out and man the gun. Now, I'm looking around, there are fire extinguishers. There is O2. There is health kits. Uh, so those things are going to get really quite deafy. Wait, what are you? You're a security officer. Okay. Click the mouse wheel and press the space bar to toggle. Tagging, so we need to tag enemy ships for our gunners to know they exist. So you have to have a good radar to pick them up. And look at this. So we do have shields at least. Control slows down time. So looks like those are miniguns. We have a much more powerful launcher on the front. This is actually base. This is visually impressive. I like this. Shields are in the bottom left. Reactor health is okay. Do I need to rearm these? Our control is at the slow time is actually. Oh god, they're right on top of me. So obviously, if I actually had been playing this properly. We would have um, skills for my guys, but obviously this is like a tutorial kind of thing. But we don't want to go that way. 
We need to repair the communications array. Where is it? But we'll go back so the enemy's behind us so I can shoot. Our rear shields are gone. Good work, the rest. Okay, we took repair the probe. What probe? Ah. There we go. Select your engineer. What's this? Move engineer to the ship's tractor beam. Oh, there's tractor beams now. What is this? Is this like a window? Those are boarding areas, aren't they? That's where the enemy can board. Tractor beam can be used to retrieve stuff, okay. Do I have to use it? I'm ready for alignment. Oh, look at that. Retrieve it. Okay. Send your engineer to repair it. So my engineer's got a suit on? That's not a suit, is it? It's just a helmet. That's just your hair. You're wearing a face mask. Now, I know there is, like, social distancing and stuff currently ongoing, but face mask won't help you in space. Okay. And let's deposit it back. So very simple. Obviously it does take time each time, so you have to be tactical about when you do these things. And imagine trying to repair something when you need more gunners is not a smart move. That's pretty... Okay, return to Athena by tagging the jump gate. Where is the jump gate? There we are. Okay, you go back to there. You go back to security. So obviously you want your people to be in ideal positions when you're doing this. There's literally a staircase to the engine coupling. Because if you don't have people like manning your engines and so on, you will have the issue that you're not actually running your ship optimal. And obviously you want to man the guns during battle, but you want to make sure you're still repairing things. You want to make sure you still have your crew in the right position. So there's a lot of tactics, a lot of madness going on at any one time. So yeah, it can get really, really tough. I'm kind of curious if there is any more ship types. So knowing the other one, you could upgrade it, upgrade the weapons and so on. Look at that. Big plasma gun on the back and the top. So we've got an up and down gun. And there's a docking area, which says keep clear. Interesting. So it plays exactly like Bomber Crew currently. The asteroid dodge. But it's space crew. They gave me money and research. The asteroid dodger has been returned. That's always a good sign. Looks like my people have all returned, so they obviously get some experience for surviving. These were like all rank 10. So I guess not. As you can see, you can recruit new people. But we should have crew. This is the recruitment room. New recruits will come in to fill your crew. But we already have crew. Obviously the mess hall is where your crew are. Hostile aid spotted closer to Earth. UDF gears up to respond. You have to crew gear so you can actually, you know, equip your people with different things. As you can see, we don't really have much in the way of gear. Different crew gear have different properties. Resistance to damage, resistance to radiation or improved mobility. So obviously you want your gunners who are probably more likely to get shot to have like standard issue armour and stuff like that. But you may want your engineers to be a lot faster. Obviously it doesn't matter to me right now because it's just a demo. This is the spacecraft hanging here, you can upgrade the equipment on your ship. You can also customise the appearance and name of your ship. So you see you can armour it up. So you may want like heavier armour across places which are more likely to be shot. Systems obviously inside, you have standard shields, you can obviously upgrade your shields. This one is just better. This one is less shields but faster recharge. As you can see there's different reactors and gravity generators. So if anything gets damaged you need to make sure you have at least better things. Plasma cannon mark 1, mark 2, auto cannon, and plasma cannon mark 3. Okay, yeah, we've got better engines. Uh, escape pods. 
Uh, we might want escape pods that my crew could survive. If your crew's died, you have to get new ones. And in Bomber Crew, originally, the, if you died after like halfway, you basically have to restart the game because it was just instantly too tough. Phase rifle and space suit. Two phase rifles. Mm. Let's install two phase rifles here. However, again, we don't really care. Plasma cannon and auto cannon mark one. Ooh. Oh, it, it changes depending on target. Railgun. No, we'll leave that. So, yeah, obviously, it depends on what you're doing and when, what your target is, but. Rescue Astronomer. There's bounties! Plasmid Champion. That means he's going to attack us during the mission. That's how it usually works. Okay, looks like we're prepped. Take us out, Captain. So, yeah, you want to make sure you have enough crew. The rule of thumb is usually three gunners, some kind of engineer, a captain. And like, uh, you should be, I think you're either comms or navigation. A security officer's new, that's obviously because now boarding is a thing, because aliens. Safest route, fastest route, hmm. Charge. Fully charge, ready for hyper jump. Fully charge, let's run for how your ship's reactor works. Oh no. This is the engineer station's panel. For me, you can modify the actual outputs of ship's different systems, shields, weapons, engines, and gravity generator. Okay. While charging for hyper jump, four units of power will be diverted and locked to the engines. Until it is upgraded, the reactor only has four units of power, so currently all your reactor power is being used to charge for hyper jump. Notice your energy weapons are showing that they do not have power. Okay, so that means these actually do need ammo. Your gravity generator shield charger are also without power. After you complete your hyperjump, the actual port will be returned to previous set balance and everything will be operational again. That's actually very important to know. So when I go to hyperjump, my entire ship at early levels is offline. Interesting. So I mean, these do actually need ammo, don't they? Because they're guns, unless it's just automatic, before you have to recharge and rearm them. Okay, I'm beginning to think you might need to get in the front gun. Yep, in a come. Where are they? Just the two? They are big! Oh! Show the XP! Oh, there's more! I am enjoying this whole 3D-ness of this, because obviously the original one was quite 3D, and they fought on the three separate planes, like low, medium and high. This one obviously everything is a bit all over the place. Still kind of curious to see if he went out of ammo. Oh, I don't want to charge, we'll lose our shield and also our guns. Rear am- okay, rear shield's gone. Rear shield's gone. You're going to focus fire. You're going to focus fire. And boost. As you can see, skills are key. If you don't use your skills, you will lose. Of course, my shields are taking major hits. You've lost one. Clear. Okay, good. Captain, get us out of it. We're going to be taking... Oh, we're taking whole damage. Come on. Just have two guns, at least. Quick repair. Oh, no. We don't have any gravity. Things are slower. And also, you need the edges to obviously repair things. Jump! Oof. 
And also I get more experience for killing things, but again, we don't really care. Warning asteroids, dang nabbit. So you can also usually put your own objectives down to make a like, temporary pass and so on. Now this is obviously called in fighter support, as you can see. So they are my navigations officer. You are my... Oh. Come on. I'm getting more beeps over here. Oh, there's so many! This is the safe route! Shields are down on the right flank. What's that damage? What is that? That's a med thing. Who's injured? No, get back in there. I don't want you to be doing that. Novotny has been injured. As you can see, we don't do the right calls at the right times. You get destroyed. You need to make sure you've always got some kind of abilities. Uh, you, call in some fighter support. Yeah, calling in some fighters. We've lost shields completely now. They have called in fighters. Where are they? Oh no, there's more of them. That's a charge, I can't do this! Evasive piloting! Come on! I usually run three gunners! Okay, we're doing evasives! Okay, there's the allied fighters! So yeah, you can call in fighters, obviously you can make your own waypoints to go round, particularly vi vicious areas. In bomber crew is to get around like anti-aircraft areas, usually around bases. I imagine it'd be something similar-ish in this one. They're behind us, okay we've lost... oh. Come on! It's a lot prettier. I didn't even know this game existed until the um, Steam Summer Festival. I loved the first game. Oh, we need better. Sh okay, shield below's gone down. If I go to escape, I lose too many guns on my armor. Ray point is locked. Inspire them! Okay, performance analysis? What's that doing? No scan target. Come on! There's no good weapons. Okay, there we go. One more down. Okay, rear armor is now red, as you can see. This is gonna break. If we lose this, Morley may need a suit. Morley? Put a space suit on. Oh wow, it takes 30 seconds when there's no enemies. I mean, when there is enemies? Oh no. But yeah, you're at the back now. Put on the suit and stay safe. Wait, what? Put on the suit. Oh, can you not wear it in here? That's the problem. Oh, is this the mission? Rescue astronomer, land at the out. Do I have to fight again? Oh no. Repair this. We need it. Uh. It's definitely a lot more tactically complicated than Bomber Crew. Because there's a lot more things you can do. And there's a lot more, mo you know, things moving about. Before, it was very much take pictures, bomb, or bomb. Yeah, at an extreme push, you'd have to take pictures of other things, too. 
Yep, thanks for rescue. I was about to self destruct. Says we escape. Yeah, let's leave. Okay. Let's go fastest route. Because the shortest route did not help. No, the safest route did not help. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot. Tab makes you go faster. Oof. There we go, we're safe! Good. One more journey. Okay, um... We're getting contact. Cool pilots. Uh, scan, it's just those at the moment. There we go, go. Oh, there's their enemy. There's their guy. So, that will be their ace, which will be one of their more powerful people. You get bonuses killing them, but they're also like bosses, so they're quite powerful. Shields are down. So, high chance we're going to die. Look at the madness. Oh, if we can kill him, that'd be great. Come on, Vorb, die! What's on the back gun? Okay, we're overdriving and backup powering. Come on! We're losing the hole! Whoa! There's one down, there are so many behind us. There's still more coming in, there are so many fighters and heavies. There must be frigates or corvettes. Um, Scott? Okay, he's injured. He's out of action. One, two, three. Oh, he's the other guy. Quick, repair it! This is how we die! Look how many there are! I don't remember it being this tough in... Those are missiles, aren't they? What are they? I don't remember this being part of, like, Bomber Crew. Oh, they're boarding me! Get the guns! Where's the guns? There's a gun. Do any more guns? the line quick repair the generator we've lost the generator attack enemies we hold the line we're not dead yet my god this is insane oxygen generator has been destroyed okay there's a few issues with the ship. Salas is dead. Our engineer is dead. Got us still everywhere. Repair that. 
got you useless, I hope you die. In fact, we're all probably going to die. Quick! Fix things! Oh, I missed the engineer already, Sonny! Oh my god, there's so many of them! This is how we die, so yeah, it's a bit tougher. Little bit tougher. Um. Let's escape hatch. Escape hatch. Go, go, go. Sun. Uh, will they survive? Yeah, we're not gonna live. But it was a glorious attempt. But yeah, this has been a demo first impression of Space Crew. Which, I'm still gonna play. I was just... I imagine it'll be a lot different when you first start, because it's obviously different weapons, different equipment, much tougher. Like, so many of them. Come on, we could jump in a second. Oh, we need one second. We need to jump. There's a fire. Come on. Sixty seconds. Even this last thing we do, and also sun abandoned ship. Typical. Typical sun. Quick! Pick it back up! The engine's dead again. Scott's dead. Ah well. So yeah, this has been a first impression look at Space Crew. It's a bit tougher than I thought it would have been. An awful lot tougher, but either way, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next one. Ciao for now. Be awesome. Be epic. And as always, I will be seeing you next time. My God, this was tough. And we almost made it too. Almost made it.